So I've opened my Jeopardy Master template and I'm ready to make my new Jeopardy game. The first thing I need to do is give each of my categories a name. The first category will be called Animals. Go ahead and give each of your Jeopardy categories a name. Once you've typed in all of your Jeopardy categories, you're ready to add the content to your answer and question slides. So we are going to add the content to Animals 100. I will show you how to add pictures, sound files and YouTube videos to your Jeopardy game. So let's go to slide 3. The first thing we need to do is type in our answer. The answer to this question is a reptile with no legs. The next thing I'm going to do is add a picture to this page. Follow me up to your menu, insert, picture, from file. Go to the folder where you saved all of your pictures. Select the picture you want by double clicking on it. And what you'll see is the picture appears and a format box. I want to crop this picture to the right size. So in the format box, I click on crop and I drag the handlers to the size I want. And this crops the picture. I can then resize the picture. Additionally, I can add a border. And now I've inserted my picture into my Jeopardy game. Additionally, I would like to add a sound file of a snake hissing. So follow me up to insert, movies and sounds, sound from file, go to the folder where you've saved your sound files, I'll click on snake, and a box will appear. How do you want the sound to start in the slideshow? In this case, I would like it to start automatically. You will see that there is a speaker icon that has appeared. If we leave this like it is, I will be able to see the speaker on the slideshow. I do not want that. I just want to hear the sound. So right click the speaker, it says edit sound object. In the box that appears, click hide sound icon during slideshow. Click OK. We can still see the icon here, but when we play the Jeopardy game, we will only be able to hear the sound. Let's go to our question or response slide. On this page, we need to type the question. In this case, the question is, what is a snake? I'm going to add another picture to this slide. I go insert, picture, from file, and I choose my next picture. I want to resize it a little bit and add a border. And there you have it. That is how you add sound and pictures to your Jeopardy slides. Let's have a look at what this is like when we play the Jeopardy game. Click F5 on your keyboard. Choose Animals 100. Now you can't hear that, but a snake sound is playing. You can see the picture. Click check your answers. And we can see the second picture that we entered. Let's go ahead and add some more questions and answer slides. Now, as you can see, I have added in a few more questions and answers. And in this answer that is provided, it says this is the largest mammal on Earth. Of course, we can see it's a blue whale. And we need to provide the correct response on the next slide. So on the next slide, I'm going to type, what is a blue whale? Now on this page, I don't want to put a picture and I don't want to put a sound file. In fact, what I have found, if you follow me to YouTube, is an excellent YouTube video about blue whales presented by the BBC. So I want to put this video and embed it in my PowerPoint. 
So follow me back to the PowerPoint and I'll show you how this is done. Remember the control toolbar that we inserted in the earlier lessons? Click on the More Controls button, the Hammer button. Scroll down until you find Shockwave Flash Object. You will see you get a little cross here on your mouse. Hold your left mouse button down and drag that open. Then right click on the big white X box that appears. Go to Properties. And in this we got some options. If you look down the list, find Movie. This is where we are going to paste the URL of the movie about blue whales. So let's go back to the YouTube movie where it says URL, select all, copy, go back to your PowerPoint, where it says movie, paste. Now we can see the URL of the blue whale movie. However, there are some things that we need to do to this URL. So watch carefully. Where it says watch, question mark, we want to delete that. So select it and click delete on your keyboard. Make sure you have only selected watch and question mark. The next thing we need to do is replace this equals sign with another forward slash, one of these. So select the equal sign and press the forward slash button on your keyboard, which is right below the question mark. And there we have it. We have some other options on this window. For example, where it says playing, this will decide if the video plays automatically. I don't want the video to play automatically, so I'm going to select it and click false. This means I have to start the video when we get to the slide. Additionally, I do not want the video to loop, which means when the video is finished, it would keep playing. So on loop, click true and change it to false. Once you've done all of that, go up to your X and close this window. Now we should see what this looks like. So click F5 on your keyboard. Click the score that has that clue. This is the largest animal on earth. What is a blue whale? Check your answer. And we can see now that we have the YouTube video. If I click on this, it will play through once. And that's how you add pictures, sound files, and YouTube videos to your PowerPoint presentation. What you need to go ahead and do now is to insert all the answers and questions in your Jeopardy game and make sure that you put a wide selection of interesting sound, visual pictures, and YouTube videos in as well.